Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the St. John's County Show that's on in the afternoon. Yeah. We've got a great guest in here in studio today. Great update, yes. Yes. Yeah, man. Melanie Lamaglio joins us here. She is the president and founder of the Rebloom Center and also a physical therapist at the Parkinson's and Neurologic Health Center. Yeah. Um, they've got an event coming up, and we've also got, uh, we're also going to get some, uh, I want to talk to her about, you know, it seems like Parkinson's is on the rise. I mm -hmm. don't know if that's factually true, but uh, we can, we'll we talk to Melanie about it. We're definitely seeing um, a big light to it. Because it seems like, yeah. yeah, it seems like we're just seeing more and more cases um, over the years. So we'll talk about that, why they might, why that might be, what, what treatment what might look like, what kind of treatment they provide. Mm -hmm. So we'll get into all that here very, very shortly. Also, uh, of course, we've got your horoscopes, your events. And all the stuff Davey loves. Well, the events, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll bring it up, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's jump right into it. Awesome. Uh, shall we? Uh, we'll do that right after we tell you about our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln. Uh, help us bring you the show each and every day. They're celebrating 76 years. Oh, wow. In St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. Bozard Ford Lincoln, of course, is here for you. You're going to experience a huge selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and a parts and accessories shop that's just going to blow your mind. Make sure you grab a signature burger out there at Ford's Garage while you're there. They offer services from home delivery to company fleet servicing. At Bozard Ford Lincoln, your family is their family, and they are driven to inspire. All right. Also, our friends at the Bailey Group. Getting enrolled in a health insurance or Medicare plan does not have to be complicated. It can be quite the opposite. We know this from experience. Yeah. At the Bailey Group, you're going to work with a local insurance advisor to find just the right insurance coverage for your specific needs and budget. Their goal is to make getting covered simple. No added costs, no extra fees. The Bailey Group handles individual health and Medicare, corporate benefits, and financial needs for their clients. Give them a call and let them do that for you. 904 461 1800. And then, of course, our friends at Elace there Med Spa. <laughs> there we go. It's always great when I hit the wrong button. <laughs> if you're looking for a relaxing and rejuvenating experience, look no further than Elace Med Spa. They specialize in providing their clients with a range of luxurious spa treatments and advanced medical aesthetic procedures. Whether you are looking to unwind with a hydrofacial or enhance your natural beauty with things like Botox, dermal fillers, laser treatments, they do it all. <sighs> nice. Expert staff going to develop a personalized treatment plan tailored to your unique needs and goals. It's beauty on your terms. You have high standards. That's why Elace has high standards. <laughs> Check them out at elace.com. Check out those membership plans too. It's like an HSA plan. You know, you spend 200 bucks every month, but then you cash out at the end. It's really, really, really nice. And you get 15% off of their services. That's Very good. huge. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, man. All right, Melanie Lamaglio joining us here this afternoon. How are you? Great to have you in studio. I'm doing great. Thanks Good. for having me. Good, yeah, How's absolutely. The wonderful world of the Rebloom Center doing. We are thriving. Awesome. Yes. Good. Great. That's good news for a lot of people. Yeah. So, what's the mission at Rebloom? So, in short, our mission is just to improve the lives of people living with Parkinson's, mm -hmm. and we mainly do this with a three, excuse me, a three pronged approach. So. Uh, the majority of our programming centered around targeted exercise classes and voice training. Okay. And then education is a big part of our program and socialization. So with those three sort of wheels, cog wheels, we maximize people's potentials and keep them out of the hospital and just keep them living their best life. So like, what if you don't know like the symptoms of Parkinson's like initially? What are you, some things to look mm. at? When do you come into the picture? What does that look like for a patient? Well, ideally, we'd like to come into the picture as soon as a diagnosis is made, because okay. I always tell people it's easier to reclaim what you have, excuse me, it's easier to preserve what you have than to reclaim something you've lost. Mm -hmm. um, so the earlier, the better. And so early intervention is key to maximizing quality of life. But some of the early, early signs of Parkinson's, if you go back, like even before motor symptoms are present, we now know that sleep disturbances, so uh, REM behavior sleep disorder, is a big one. Um, REM, during REM, so REM stands for rapid eye movement. Um, so for you and I, when we're sleeping, our bodies are paralyzed during that phase of sleep, except for your eyes, where they're sort of moving back and forth in your head. If you have REM behavior sleep disorder, you're actually acting out your dreams. 
Mm. So you might sit up in bed and just, you know, steer a car. your car yeah, <laughs> or run. So you're kicking and thrashing, fall out of bed. Sometimes you might hit your bed partner. Um, so that's what we call REM behavior sleep disorder. That's not supposed to happen. Sleepwalking in that or no? Um, not necessarily. Okay. But maybe yelling, gotcha. talking. A lot of times they're um, negative dreams. So mm. someone's chasing you or something scary is happening during the dream. Um, and that is a big risk factor for Parkinson's disease. Wow. So 75% of people that have that disorder go on and get diagnosed with Parkinson's within eight to 10 years. Oh, which is really? a staggering statistic. Yeah. So if you have that, A, you'd want to go to a sleep specialist to confirm that you had um, REM behavior sleep disorder and then, you know, get followed by a neurologist. Mm. Because there's a there's a whole bunch of research too out there to help people that are in the very earliest stages of Parkinson's and the new treatments that are coming down the pipeline for disease modification need to be targeted to people before their motor symptoms become present. That's mm. really the only way to sort of make it make a, a dent in halting the progression or sort of stopping it in its tracks. So REM behavior sleep disorder is a big one. And then lack of smell. You know, we all talked about that during COVID, Ooh, yeah. but uh, people with Parkinson's have reduced sense of smell years before like that tremor might show up. Wow, really interesting. So those two together increase your risk for developing Parkinson's. So smell and sleep disturbances. And then some of the other things that can happen are changes in mood. So an increase in anxiety or depression, again, before motor symptoms. So it's not a reaction to Parkinson's. It's just part of Parkinson's disease. And then um, as the motor symptoms start showing up, you know, the most common one that we're familiar with is tremor. Mm -hmm. So a resting tremor on one side of the body, stiffness on one side of the body, um, reduction in arm swing, changes in posture, uh, shuffling gait. So those are some of the earlier signs of Parkinson's that something's amiss. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, a lot of times people blame those symptoms on aging. Oh, I'm just getting older. That's why my shoulder or my hip hurts. Interesting. And that can lead to misdiagnosis for a lot of people. Yeah. They go to see their doctor and they're complaining of stiffness or pain in their shoulder or hip. And it's really due to like the rigidity or muscle stiffness that Parkinson's can cause. Um, so... Wow. And we talk about, we talk about the aging side of it, I guess. What is, is there a typical window where we usually see these signs start to <clears throat> kind of grow? So most people are diagnosed in their late fifties and early sixties. Okay. And then the risk increases with aging. Uh, but really Parkinson's can affect all ages. So we have young onset Parkinson's as well. So anyone diagnosed under the age of 50, like Michael J. Fox uh, mm -hmm. is the most common commonly known person that has young onset Parkinson's and he's mm -hmm. been living with Parkinson's for decades now. Um, so it can affect all ages, but most commonly strikes, you know, sort of when you're just starting to think about retirement and how mm -hmm. you're going to spend your golden years. Um, and then people get hit with this. Um, what can be a, a devastating and scary diagnosis. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's gotta be depressing. I feel like it's all of a sudden you're, you're doing some involuntary movement. I mean, like how do, how yeah. do you accomplish or get through those dark times? Hopefully you meet somebody like me. Awesome. <laughs> Yay, good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah so we um, can help people through that and like largely through education. You know, I've had people, the, the stories that they've told me of what happened to them when they were d diagnosed. Like one lady told me that she walked out of the neurology office and went and bought herself a wheelchair because that's just what she thought her destiny was. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. And um, or people ask me questions like, well, can I still can I still drink? Like, can I have my, my glass of wine? Yeah, can yeah. I travel? Like, there's just so much Ooh. fear centered around that diagnosis. Sure. And so, you know, again, the sooner they can get to our health center, we can help, you know, put those fears at ease and say, hey, listen, you know, Parkinson's is a slow changing neurologic condition. You can live a long, good life, you know, and you don't choose to have Parkinson's, but you get to choose how to live with it. And yeah. we teach people how to live with it and, and, and live a good life. Yeah. Is having tremors exhausting? Mm. Uh, you know, some people are really bothered by their tremors and others aren't. Yeah, like my friend isn't. Yeah. And you know, we have a mutual yeah, friend. Like it bothers you... the people that are around them more, like yeah. the spouses or family mm. members. Um, so, but some people are very embarrassed by it. So I have some patients that just, you know, don't want to go into social settings because 
they think everyone's staring at them because right, they're yeah. tremoring. And then and then when they're nervous, that makes the tremor worse, right? Just like, you know, right. me coming in here today, I'm a little nervous. I'm maybe a little jittery. I might shake a little bit, you know, when you're public speaking. When you have a tremor due to Parkinson's, any kind of anxiety or form of stress can, is just going to exacerbate that tremor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. So how did this all start for you? It's obvious that you've got a, a passion for helping people I with do. Parkinson's. Yes. Did you have... Did you have a family member or a loved one who was diagnosed with Parkinson's before you Everybody started this? Everybody asks me that. Yeah. And I, I, no. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that is a little bit surprising because <laughs> yeah. a lot of people, yeah. they'll have I a think, personal experience yes. and then it gives them a drive to kind of get in there and, and do right. something about it. I think my, my, my personal experience was really my professional experience turn, turning very personal over time yeah. because these people are part of my family. Yeah. Uh, now we're, we're like a community and, you know, have their cell phone numbers and, you know, we do things outside of like the work environment and we communicate on a regular basis. But uh, I, as a physical therapist, you know, by profession, I was always drawn to anything related to the brain. So super fascinated by the brain. Parkinson's is a fascinating, very complex health condition. Um, and so I was just drawn to that and then just working with people and seeing what an impact I could make on their lives and how quickly I could sort of turn things around for them. Mm -hmm. That just sort of fueled my passion and just me wanting to do more and more and more. And then, you know, I spent many years in academia too and teaching others and sort of planting the seed and spreading, uh, we need more people to do what I do. Like we there, you need to have a Parkinson's health center in every city. Yeah. Because like you said, you asked earlier, is Parkinson's more common? Yeah. And yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, it's the fastest growing neurological disease in the world, outpacing Alzheimer's and outpacing the effect of aging. Is wow. there anything specific like blue algae or anything like that that, you know, <laughs> that people are looking at? Yes. Uh, there's a lot of scientists right now making a case that Parkinson's is largely a preventable disease, sort of like stroke. Mm. Okay. Lifestyle choices. Um, can impact our our risk profile for developing Parkinson's, what you're exposed to. So um, could that you be were anything about chemicals. like chemicals? Yeah, chemicals and cleaning products or anything like that. Absolutely. So solvents. So there's an increased risk of de developing Parkinson's when you work at a dry cleaning um, facility. Really? Wow. Golf courses. So Interesting. Pesticides. Oh, the sprays, uh, yeah. Farmers have an increased risk. Interesting. Um, Paraquat is a big uh, pesticide that's used on our crops, on our foods. You need to wash your fruits and vegetables. Absolutely. Um, mm. But yes, so solvents, so mechanics, even first responders. Uh, we have a patient who fighted, or excuse me, not fighted. He was a firefighter Got it. <laughs> <You're good>. <laughs> <laughs> in New York City uh, mm. when the trade towers came down. So he Whoa. was in ground zero. And so that exposure happens, you know, 20 years. So it takes 20 years to develop Parkinson's after an exposure. Really? Wow. Yes. Is that because the body's just shutting down on itself or? Well, the process of Parkinson's starts, like I mentioned with the sleep disorder and stuff, starts long before you see that tremor mm. or that stiffness in the shoulder. So the exposure happens about 20 years and sort of sets off this pathology. And then it just takes, you know, a decade or two to show itself wow. from a motor perspective, like one decade to show itself like lack of smell, maybe some increase in anxiety, and then another decade to show the motor symptoms. Oh, so you think of when 9-11 was, he was diagnosed, I don't know, five years ago. Um, our Vietnam vets, Agent Orange, is mm -hmm. now recognized yeah. as a, a toxin. Yeah. Right? That's another herbicide they use to sort of take all the foliage off the trees. So people that were exposed to Agent Orange have Parkinson's, a lot of them. And, yeah. and other things too, not just Parkinson's, right? Cancer. Of course, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's got to make it hard to kind of pinpoint some of the causes in some cases, There's right? There's multiple it, causes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and your genetic profile. So you and I could both be exposed to the same toxin in the environment. I get Parkinson's and you don't. Mm -hmm. Because you might have genetic factors that protect you. And I might have genetic factors that increase my risk. Mm. So it's a, it's a complex interplay between genetics and the environment. So talk about the impact. You you, uh, you mentioned that a couple of times of like, what what can you do um, as a therapist? What, what can you impact a patient's life with Parkinson's? So we do a lot. I mean, education is a big 
uh, part of what we do. You know, when they, people go see their physicians, they get very little time mm. um, with the doctor. The doctor is in and out, adjust their medications. But we have the luxury of time as therapists. So, we, you know, we spend on the rehab side for 45 minutes with each patient at a time. So there's a lot of time for education, which is so important for, for people to then be able to self-advocate to get the best care. And then as physical therapists, you know, we, depending on whether we're doing rehab versus exercise, so I sort of wear two hats. I have my physical therapy rehabilitation hat, which is where I help people um, get better at, at walking, their balance, preventing falls, rolling in bed, which is a big problem uh, in people with Parkinson's, getting up out of a chair. So restoring lost or fading function. And then my other hat is my exercise prescriber hat, where we teach people how to self-manage their symptoms and exercise is the only known intervention to slow the progression of Parkinson's. Okay. And for you and I to lower our risk. Okay. So you need 150 minutes a week of aerobic exercise to lower okay. your risk of Parkinson's. Great. That's yeah. a good tip. Yeah. And then we also have our speech uh, therapy services too. Oh, okay. Yeah, she does. So Parkinson's can cause a quiet voice and also swallow dysfunction mm -hmm. and cognitive impairment for some people. Um, and so she has her rehab side where she helps with all those things. And then she has like a loud crowd socialization group to work on voice production through social activities and um, a singing group. Oh, wow. Okay. That exercises your voice muscles. Makes to, sense. Again, yeah. Sure. Help prevent swallow dysfunction, which is the number one reason why people with Parkinson's die. Okay. Yes. Um, so, Pints for Parkinson's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell so me a little fun. bit about this. So, this is our second year okay. uh, uh, doing Pints for Parkinson's at Dog Rose Brewery. Mm -hmm. It's next week, Thursday, April 25th, starting at 6 30. And, uh, it's one of our big fundraisers of the year. So all the money that we raise uh, stays right here in St. Augustine. And it's a very local event. So Dog Rose Brewery is a local um, beer uh, venue. Um, we've got our local food trucks that are becoming. We've got a local musicians coming. Uh, and then we have a bunch of business partners that are sponsoring the event, all Great. local businesses. Awesome. And yeah, so all that money goes towards paying for all the programming. So. Uh, bringing expert medical professionals in to educate the community about Parkinson's and new treatments. And the big portion of our budget goes towards these exercise classes. So okay. we have 11 classes every single week mm. offered at three different challenge levels. And then um, it's it like about 500 classes a year. So all the money we raise goes to support that for free. So people can participate in the classes at no, you know, no financial burden. That's great. Yeah. I'm looking great. at some of the event details here. You have one huge raffle going yes. on. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. So Again, you got something, what, from businesses. Panache, I see here? Yep. So Panache uh, is providing a gift basket cool. worth $550. Okay. Hey. A day at the spa. That's real yeah. nice. And some products for your skin. Fun. And um, a, a Black Molly gift card. <gasps> That's a good one to have yes. in this day and age. Yes, mm -hmm. with a new place. Yes. Nice. Yeah, you just got to find parking. You got to oh. find a place to park. Oh, I know. Oh, it's very busy. It's hot, man. <laughs> People Hopefully are loving on it. On a weeknight, it won't be too bad. Yeah. 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 Parking's a challenge downtown. But last year, I don't know where people parked, but the venue was packed. We had uh, hundreds of people show up and show their support that's for awesome. Parkinson's. That's yeah. awesome. Very, that's very huge. cool. That's huge. So, yeah, the raffle is going to be amazing, though. We have, so, Panache, we have a a round of golf for four at Marsh Creek. Great. Uh, we have The Collector, which you mentioned, which yeah. is an amazing- uh, So special. Yeah, you need to hotel. get away. To, even if you're mm -hmm. a local, you need to get out of, you know, get out of your house and for a little right bit. And it's right down the street it's, from Dog Rose. Yeah, it's yeah. very cool. Uh, yeah, so oh, we have a surfboard. Oh. So Ooh. 11th Street uh, surfboard, and if you guys have, yeah. been, either one of you surf, he created this surfboard just for this event. How cool is this? Uh, awesome. Yes. And um, that's our largest ticketed item. At the, um, and we're actually going to uh, auction it off. He is very closely tied to Parkinson's. So his father has or passed away from Parkinson's. His brother is living with Parkinson's. And his mm. father-in-law has Parkinson's disease. Wow. So, yeah, he created this board. It's a very special, you know, lots of meaning behind it. Yeah. Yeah. That is special. Yeah. Wow. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great event, and you guys are doing some great work. This Thank is awesome. You. Yeah. I know so many people appreciate what you're doing. Um, 
tell me where people can get in touch with you um, on a regular basis, whether they want to sign up for the event or not, or they have questions. Yeah, so for the event, you can just show up. It's a non-ticketed event. Okay, cool. Free entry. Great. Yep, just buy some raffle tickets and pint glass. Yeah, you need these yeah. glasses. These Thank you very free. much, by the cool. way. These are awesome. And uh, as far as getting in touch with me, you can visit our website. So rebloomcenter.org. You have to have that word center. If you Got just it. put okay. rebloom into Google, you'll hit flower shops. Oh, oh right. right. Okay. So, yeah. That was a, that name was taken already. So I had to word. <laughs> use the, or we'll ask. put it in comments yeah. for everybody. <laughs> so rebloomcenter.org. Um, and then, you know, my email address is on there. Phone numbers on there. You can, uh, if you know someone with Parkinson's, you can just join our email list mm. and I will immediately respond and get in touch with you that way and help, you know, tell you more about our programs and what the first step is. Real quick, with that program, do you have a certain amount of patients that you can only see? Like, does that ever cap off at all? Hmm. Well, we are moving, so I'm glad you brought that up. We have sort of capped out on our current space okay. uh, on the island, and we're moving to a more central location. So we're getting more space, more centralized, because we pull people from all over the county, okay. north, south, east, west. Yeah. So we'll be located... Uh, in the 312 Business Park, which is across the street from uh, the Cobblestone Publix. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, Got it. in a okay. warehouse back there. Nice. So we're moving next weekend, right after Pints for Parkinson's. Oh, of course. <laughs> and so we'll have more space to accommodate more people. Um, we've never had to turn anyone away, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Good. It's huge. We have our busy season, which is when all the snowbirds are here. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, no, we'll definitely, if you need services, we will provide them. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. God bless y'all over at Rebloom. That's awesome. Well, Melanie, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. We appreciate your time and so everything special. you're doing. Yeah, I love talking so to you guys. many people here. <laughs> but I just want to keep talking. I could go all day. Oh, yeah. About <laughs> Always keep yeah. us in the loop. Let us know what's going on, where you need the shout outs to the community, because we're so happy to yeah. support you in this vision. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hope Absolutely. to see you guys there. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Heck so yeah. That's so I'm excited. Lift life. Uh, <laughs> love it. All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very cool, man. Yeah. Very important Doing some work. some great work, yeah. Yeah, and hey, what a fun time to hang out. Grab Dude. some drinks yeah. and... Uh, Dog roast. We already got a drink on the house. Win some, win some big great. money prizes. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. All right, got to give a big shout out at this point to our friends at Old Town Trolley. And they can drop you off somewhere right near Dog Rose. Yes, they, they can. They got some stops in that area. <clears throat> over 22 stops, over 100 points of interest. And just a 90-minute tour. Very easy to hop on, hop off, and have some fun and enjoy your time downtown. And, of course, uh, if you are taking a, a friend with you mm -hmm. and they have paid the full adult fare, <laughs> you can get free fare. Nice. You don't have to tell them you're getting free fare. Yeah, don't tell them. That's yeah, fine. you don't have to do that. Make them pay. It's for our it. secret. Hometown. That's right. Yeah. Hometownpass.com. Make sure you get signed up for that. It's a great thing to do. Uh, Old Town Trolley. They're the green trains, and uh, we love them. And another hometown secret is Steve Chapman's All-American Air. They've been serving St. Augustine and St. John's County for over 45 years. They take great pride in providing quality service and installations in turn, gaining a customer for life. All-American Air can match any price, but no one can match their quality and service. Our friends at Steve Chapman's All-American Air will take exceptional care of your home unit. you got to ask yourself, when was the last time you had your home unit serviced or inspected? Well, if you don't know that answer, you better get on this phone number, 904-461-0070. And get on this phone number if you don't know your favorite wine. Yeah. 904-827-5740 <laughs> um, for bin 39. They're going to help you find your new favorite wine. And if you've got a favorite wine, I bet you they have it out there. Yes. Even if nobody else in town has it. I can bet you that Bin 39's got it. They've got over 90 wines. Davey depleted five of them. Yeah, sorry. But definitely over 90 wines. There's only two bottles of black chicken left. I'm just saying, <laughs> go go get it. Run, don't walk. There you go. <laughs> um, they're right there on the Orange Street side of St. George Street. Great place to hang out. Listen to some live music and yeah. enjoy some time with friends while you sip on some extraordinary glasses of wine that, again, you're just not going to be able to find a lot of these wines anywhere else in St. Augustine. It's really cool. Uh, Irving is a wine connoisseur. He just loves this stuff. Yeah. He's a le legitimately obsessed with wine. It's his sport. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's good news for you if you're also a fan of wine. Again, 827-5740 to get in touch with them down there. Ask them some questions. They love talking to you about wine. They really do. Anytime. Yeah. All right. It's Thursday, so we've got Libra and Aquarius All on right. deck here this afternoon. Let's do this, Clay. Mm. Libra. Chili. 
Balancing everything will get trickier as your scales tip over with indecision. Oh. Maybe just stack everything on one side and call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> Could be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, your quirks are on full display, mm -hmm. turning you into a walking, talking art exhibit. I told you. Charge admission where it's appropriate. That's not a bad idea. That's not. Not actually. bad. Add tax. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to get stuck paying those extra oh, taxes at the end of the year. Eesh. Hey, man, are you looking for, uh, for something to do on April 28th? Totally. Well, check out St. Augustine Sailing's first Ladybug Race event. Okay. So you can watch the races, join some workshops that range from yoga on a yacht to riding aboard, uh, riding aboard a yacht uh, maintenance to weather forecasting. Oh, I see this now. We have something for everybody. <laughs> Don't miss this family-friendly event. Check out staugustinesail.com, Ladybug Race, for more info. The workshops are going to be amazing. There's also the Seafood Boil for the awards dinner. That's going to be Ooh. a very fun-filled day. Check them out, St. Augustine Sailing. I'll put link in comments. Well, wow, yacht yoga. Yeah, yacht yoga. That, that had me stuttering a little bit there. I was like, well, yeah. I wonder how that's going to be. Yeah, That's pretty interesting. interesting. That's a unique idea. Very inspiring. Yeah. All right, uh, tonight, the big event, barbecue and beer at the barn for Horseplay Therapy Center. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw. Get ready for their favorite event of the year. Join them for a fun night at the barn, including live music and open bar and catered barbecue from our friendos over at at Woodpecker's Barbecue. They've got line dancing and so much more. Again, this is tonight from 6 to 8.30 p.m. You know where the barn is, across from the Publix on 207. Go check them out and support that wonderful organization. Yeah, great folks over there. We love them. Yeah. Hey, uh, come join uh, the Winter, or no, excuse me, the Balloon Wonderland full of music and art at the Milana Room in St. Augustine Beach. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Yui Strings, Dixon's Violin, Nick Fresh, Riviera and Bianca, Sasha Bloom. This is happening on April 20th, 420, 8 p.m., right after the, uh, the big uh, Billy Strings concert. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Oh, there it is. Clay will be there. Very cool. Told you. You must be going for Sasha Bloom, St. Augustine based DJ who loves funky tech house. She also does house disco and tracks that just groove, baby. Her music reflects her desire to share high energy with others, to create a lively atmosphere where people can let loose and dance their hearts out. That's the way to be. Go to Yui Strings and find out more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So fun. And see Clay. Yeah. Clay's at all the cool things. Yeah. Man. He'll sign your arm. Now, he's, now you're obligated to sign people's arms, Clay. <laughs> sure. Could be cool. Should have given him a better body part to That's, sign. I, well, I tried to be PG 13-ish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Um, hey, got, uh, we've got big news. We've got a big announcement about the Love Your Mother Eco Fashion Show. Yeah. I'm telling you this is coming up April 27th. Woo. And apparently, I'm told... It's gonna be the last one. This is the last. I got the bad, be the the last bad one phone ever. called yesterday. I got called into Panache. We had a sit down. They gave me a nice facial. I will say thank you, Lisa. Shout I think out that's Lisa. nice. But then, yeah, they broke the news to me that this is it. Twenty years of wonderful celebration, incredible moment celebrating Matanzas Riverkeeper. So we're going out with a bang. Show up and show out. April twenty seventh. It's gonna be amazing. We really, really, really love this event. But we're gonna look forward to what the future holds, and something's going to evolve from this. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so yeah, this is our last love your mother fashion show eco fashion show you ever wanted to see it this is the time don't make any excuses get those tickets let's go your last chance to see this amazingly creative event yeah last chance ever yes. wow man get on that go to get and get those tickets and check out the united way of st john's county they're a champion for our community your passion your generosity they need it all together they create a brighter future for every individual in st john's county well they focus on making a difference with education health and financial stability so give them a shout check out their uh their volunteer website go to unitedway-sjc.org very cool all right man what are we ending the show on today what are the smallest inconveniences that could ruin your day Oh, don't get me started. Here we go. First one. This one. Please see cashier. Nope, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, I'm not going anywhere. Next up. Oh, this will send me off over the edge. Oh, yeah. Where's it always happens? happens when you're having the worst day. And you're trying to move quickly. Yep. Ugh. Yeah. Next up, password does not match. Password does not match. Reset password. Your new password can't be the password used in the past. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, hate this. Yep, I run into this like Annoying. once a month. 
Next up, I want to speak to a representative. Yep. Ugh. I'm yelling that you don't right. want to hear me yell this. I'm sure. I yell this at the computer. Representative. Right. Jeez. And then they don't understand you because the, you're yelling and you right. got to say it calmer and you don't want to be calm. Or exactly. Next up, having to pee when you get comfortable in bed. I hate this too. Oh, uh, just go yeah. there. <laughs> Next up, you're about to leave and your AirPods and iPhone are not fully charged. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. <sighs> Not fun. First world problems. Here. Seriously. Or oh, this next one. A small stain on your shirt. Nobody else can see it, but you do. Right? <laughs> yep, uh. yep. How about this? This is a Florida thing. Temperature on your iPhone needs to cool oh, down before you can use yeah, it. Yeah, I get this at the beach a lot. A lot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I hate this one. Next one, Netflix. Are you still watching? Yeah, well, I'm duh. still watching. The oh, damn screen's gosh. on. Gosh. Can we opt out on that? This right. Is stupid. Right. And our last one today, all bros will understand. <laughs> wow. All uh, no, right. There you go. <laughs> what happens here? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Girls too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody.